Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about how we can use the structure way in the functions of Go language. So, we, you know, we are using the main function and you also know that we can make our own function with this way, but how we can apply the structure function here. I'm writing person func. This is what I'm making a new function like that and here I'm writing something first of all here I'm receiving this person the person you know structure this structure is person this is the person structure I'm here typing P E R S and the type of this function I'm writing as person which we've made previously okay and here I'm writing something FMT. I'm directly using the FMT instead of receiving the data and doing some operations. I'm j I just wanted to show you how it works. So what I'm doing by now, first dot name and here after that the FMT dot print Ellen and here we're going to call the first dot for the name. Now, actually, what's the benefit of using the functions? with the structure now we've already created a structure and here we've already made these two things the person one and the person two okay we can put everything of this in the person two i'm adding all of them uh, to the person two two let me just do that here person two dot for the name i have to stick with these things are coming from the structure so spelling must be clear so the person for the name equal to Maria and the father name I'm writing as Bruce okay Bruce now here person two dot Jenner equal to absolutely female and here person two dot age equal to 23 and again the person 2 dot height equal to um, 69 I do not know about these numbers just suppose as we always suppose in mathematics anyway the way I'm writing 58 okay that's awesome now when we're making a person a person funk and I'm writing here person funk 1 and the pers person pers one pers one and the pers one the father name now i just want these two things when someone call the person funk one now here right after that i'm calling that function the person funk one okay now you know here we have a parameter and the value I need to put in the parameter I can use these two variables the person 2 or the person 1 here I'm calling person 2 okay I can only call two things because there are only two variables who are using this structure we've just mentioned here now when we call the person 2 the great thing comes here that uh, only Maria and Bruce can be visible you know the person to variable has many things the name the father name the gender the age and the height but we only wanted these two things with the person func one this is a collection and there is the structure of that collection of that function absolutely so it is a little tricky i know but you need to just practice and uh, once you practice it you would learn more now for example i want to add one more just to show you I'm writing pers one dot I'm directly adding the weight E I G H T and saving it now. Absolutely here we are telling that pers one should have the name, pers one should have the father name. And what is pers one? The pers one is person two. So this person two's name and father name and the weight and etc all became the value for this function's parameter now i'm gonna run that again and you're gonna see that the bruce maria bruce and 58 so i think it is clear now 
if you for example want uh, some a function where you want some data some more data for example name and father name the gender the age height and weight so maybe you just want the integers like age the height and the weight so in that case you can make the person func to let's just do that so you won't be very confusing in it i think uh, because i know it's still the tricky you just need to focus it focus on it because it's not very hard to understand i'm again uh, assigning the same structure the person even we can have another function uh, the structure too so no problem about that i'm making it here and going inside and fmt dot print ln ln and here the per sorry pers two dot here we just only want the age and uh, fmt dot print ln and here all I want is the pers two dot height. Uh, I have to add the height, the period here, and again the fmt dot print ln, and here the pers two dot weight. Uh, oh, okay, okay, all done. Anyways, this operator, this period is actually called the member access operator in the structure way okay now i'm going there oh sorry before going there back i need to call this person func func to spelling must be very similar person to saving it and now going there and just running this up so you know we're gonna only have the 23 69 and 58 now i want to run the person func two again but now i just want the details the integer details of the person one so this is the great thing comes with the structures saving it now running that again and yeah it's working you can see that 26 60 not 60 and 100 and previously it was uh, 23 69 58 so we've got both by the person func2 we got the details on the integer details of the person 2 and person 1 so I think this is pretty clear this that how we can actually achieve it and how we can work on the structures using the functions so in the next lecture we're gonna talk about something different till then stay tuned